This rural region in Costa Rica, near the border with Nicaragua, is today home to 70 Nicaraguan farmers who had to flee their own land. They were lucky to be able to rent this farm, to raise and sell pigs in order to feed their families. They're among the thousands of poor Nicaraguan farmers who began protesting in 2013 against President Daniel Ortega's plan to expropriate their land and build a multi-billion dollar transatlantic canal. By doing so, they became enemies of the state, along with tens of thousands of other Nicaraguans who've crossed into Costa Rica in the last three years to escape reprisals for taking part in anti-government protests. La Nicaraguans are emigrating as never before because the repression is continuing and so does the migration to Costa Rica, Spain, the United States. People can't live with the psychosis, the fear that they'll be imprisoned, beaten and tortured. And then there's the economic situation. Record numbers of Nicaraguans are leaving their country, the second poorest in the Americas after Haiti. Since President Daniel Ortega launched a new crackdown against opponents earlier this year, the number of Nicaraguans attempting to reach the United States has more than quadrupled, according to the U.S. Customs and Border Patrol. But the vast majority come here to Costa Rica to work in the fields, like the Casadas family. They too say they had to abandon their farm in Nicaragua because they protested against Ortega's plans to take their land. Now they're struggling to afford rent and food, so two of their four children are helping them pick coffee. Even though we were poor in Nicaragua, we were in our country. But the fear that they'll suddenly come and kill you while you're working or walking down the road is too heavy, because that's what they're doing. It's hard work when the beans are still green, and even with the whole family working all day from 6 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon, they'll be lucky if they make about $8 today. Yet, as difficult as it is for people who work here in the countryside to make a living, it's much more difficult for the Nicaraguan exiles and economic migrants who go to the capital. <laughs> The La Carpio neighborhood in San Jose is where many of the more than 130,000 Nicaraguans who've asked for refugee status are living. The majority in overcrowded dwellings they can't afford. Unemployment is soaring in Costa Rica, and the Nicaraguan migrants who work in construction or as housemaids are the first casualties. I used to work as a maid, but since the pandemic, they don't give us work because they say they don't want anyone in their homes. And they also ask for documents. With their main opponents now in prison, Ortega should easily win Sunday's presidential elections. And that, say these migrants, will likely only increase the exodus from their trouble-torn country. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Arajuela, Costa Rica.